Hey everybody. Well, as the title says, there's a new man in my life and his name is Tom Ford. As you guys know, I purchased a couple of his lipsticks about a month and a half, maybe two months ago, and I really do like them a lot. I love the consistency of them. I love the colors that are available. Of course, not crazy about the price, but I have to say that it's really a nice product, and I definitely would buy another color in the range. I try not to because I have way too many lipsticks. I actually have way too many of everything, of course but I'm trying not to, at least for the time being. But I was really interested in trying some of the items from his makeup line, especially after seeing Wayne's review and also Michael. So I'll put the two links down below, but you guys definitely know who those one, two wonderful guys are. And the item that I was most particularly interested in was the shade in Illuminate. Now I did purchase it in the 01. It comes in two different colors. It comes in the 01, which is for lighter complexions, and then the 02, which of course is for darker complexions. So of course, being as fair as I am, I did purchase the 01. The first thing that I will tell you is that I don't like the packaging, which I know a lot of people have mentioned. It's not that I think that for the money they should have come up with a better packaging. There's just something about it. I don't like the fingerprints. I don't like the way that it opens. I just don't care for it, but it has nothing to do with the product that's inside, which I do like quite a bit. Now this again is the 01 color. This is the darker color, which is for contouring, and this is the lighter color, which of course is for highlighting. I have to say that if I was going to compare the contouring color to anything, I'd probably compare it to the Chanel Universal. I think it's on the same idea, the same consistency. The main difference is that this does not have the orange in it that the Universal has that a lot of people have difficulties with. I myself had a huge problem with it initially. I really had to learn how to work it into my skin tone to get it to work the correct way. I do like it a lot, but it still does throw that orange tint for me a lot that I'm not really that crazy about. And this takes care of that 100%. This is definitely a color that has none of the orange in it whatsoever. Now the illuminating side is really quite interesting. It looks like it's white and it looks like it might have like a little bit of a shimmer to it, which it doesn't when it goes on your skin. It blends in beautifully. It goes on sort of clear, I guess is the best way to describe it, and just gives a really nice highlighting effect wherever you're going to place it. So I do like this a lot. I don't want to do a full review on it because I did just get it and I am just playing with it. I'm not 100% sure yet of the best brush that I like to use it, although he does sell a brush that goes to it. Um, and I'm not sure, of course, how well it's going to wear, if my skin is going to have a reaction to it, if it's going to oxidize. So I really want to save a full review for probably for a later time. Now, as far as a brush goes, I did order a brush with it, and I thought I was getting the brush that was specifically designed for that, but I didn't. I made a mistake and ordered the wrong one. There's actually a brush that's called Shade and Illuminate. I think it's like $75, so it's really expensive, as are all of his brushes. But what I did end up getting is I got the 06 brush, which is a cheek brush. It's got a nice sort of metallic handle. It has uh, natural hair, and you can see that they're white hair. This is dirty because I used it on my brush. I'm sorry, on my blush. And it's a nice brush. I am keeping it. Is it worth the money? Absolutely not. I believe this one was $70. It's way overpriced. I think it's a good $15 to $20 overpriced, and even at that, it's overpriced. But it is made exceptionally well. I love the density of it. I love the softness of it. I've used it, so I really don't want to clean it and return it, so I am going to keep it. And I'll do another review on this also as the time goes on, and I'm using it to see whether it makes it into my top brushes or not, which I think that it probably will. So today what I did is I used, you're going to laugh at this, I used my Low Cornell brush. It's the 270 Maxine's Mop. This is actually an artist brush. I did a video a long time ago on using artist brushes and how great they are. And as you can see, I still keep them around and use them. So I used this because I wanted something that was dense and sort of thinner in shape this way for me to go right directly under my cheekbone and press the product in. And this worked really well. Is it the best application? I'm not sure yet. I really want to play with a few other brushes and see. But overall, that's what I'm going to start using, and I'm going to definitely start playing with it. Now, the other item that I got is I got one of his blushes that are just, this is just absolutely gorgeous. When I purchased this, I purchased this from Neiman's, and they said that this color was exclusive to their store, which I don't 100% believe. I have, I have a feeling you could probably find it somewhere else, but it's in the color 06. It's called Wicked, and it is wickedly gorgeous. Is that a word? Wickedly gorgeous. It is absolutely beautiful, the color and the consistency and how it goes on. 
The one thing I will tell you is that these blushes are extremely pigmented. I took my brush when it, you know, you get it and you rip it open and you start using it right away. And I took the brush and swiped it across just once and it went across my cheeks and whoa, you really have to have a very, very light hand with them because they're really that strongly pigmented. But the color is just gorgeous. So it, it is an absolutely gorgeous shade, just a gorgeous product. I like it a lot. So those are the three items that I bought from Tom Ford. Plus the fact, of course, that I had the lipsticks from before, so I'm really enjoying his line a lot. Now, I don't know how available they are. I know that now, it's very interesting because my Saks in Boston only has some of the items, yet Saks in New York has the full line, so I'm not really sure about that. But my Neiman's does have the full line. I think that he may also be available in Nordstrom's, and I'm not sure where else, but of course... Google is your friend. If you Google Tom Ford, I'm sure a million places and availability will pop up for you. So on to my face of the day. I've decided that there are a couple of new foundations that I'd really like to try, but I've got to use up some of the ones that I have. So I put on today the Guerlain, the Aqua. I have it in the shade of O2. And what I did is I mixed in just a little tiny bit of my iNuovi, the Skin Illuminating Pre-Makeup Base. So I just put in like a dot of that into it just to give a little illuminating to it to sh and also to sort of share it up a little bit more. What I'm using on my eyes today is I love these. If you guys have not tried them, go out and get yourself one of these pigments. They're phenomenal. It's the Illamasqua Cream Pigment. This one is in the color of Dab, D-A-B. Love them. The only thing I will tell you is I hate opening them. I don't know why, but I have the hardest time opening them. But look at that color. Is that not gorgeous? Just a beautiful shade. So I use that to contour in my eye. I decided to just do a very light sort of mocha, sort of uh, taupey color. And I picked up my Kiko eyeshadow in 122. Here is the number from you. Thank you to the beautiful Giada, nautical but nice one, who sent this to me quite a bit, quite a bit ago when I use it all the time. Love, love, love that. I decided for uh, highlighting in the inner corners of my eyes not to do the bright white, to do something a little softer because I was doing these colors. So I picked up my Makeup Academy. Marty, if you're watching, I know you're going to London. You definitely have to check this drugstore brand out. It's phenomenal. This is in the shade of 16. And it's sort of like more of a little bit on the pinkier side. Really pretty. Love that a lot. For highlighting, I picked up one of my old favorites that I don't believe is made anymore. It's Chanel's Buttercream, and I just love this. So you can see I have definitely used it to death. This is probably one of the few items I actually have panned showing because, you know, that I buy way too much. And the final thing that I did is lipstick. I used Tom Ford's Flamingo, which is just such a beautiful, beautiful shade. Absolutely love this. I'm going to go a little bit further back to see if... It will get picked up a little bit better, plus I'll do a up-close picture, of course, too. But just love that. And then what I decided to do is just to put a little bit of shine over it, but you really don't need it with that lipstick. And I pulled out my Revlon Peach Petal, and I went over it with that. So that's it. That's my face of the day and my new love, Mr. Tom Ford. Definitely love his products. We'll definitely try out other things in his line, of course. And you know that when I do... I will be sharing them with you. Take care, everybody. Speak to you soon.